Good morning. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. It gives me immense pleasure well, to welcome you all for this wonderful session, How to Rebuild Yourself from Scratch. Asan Memorial College of Arts and Science is one of the premier self-financing co-educational institutions in Chennai. It was established in the year 1994 and celebrated its Silver Jubilee in January 2020 in a grand manner. The college organizes seminars constantly for the students to gain knowledge and to equip themselves amidst this pandemic. On behalf of our management, principal, staff, and students of Asan Memorial College, I consider it a great privilege to welcome our resource person, Rudram Dragovan, CEO, Here and Now Group of Companies, Professor, Indo-French Cultural Center for French Language Training and Cultural Academy. Public speaker, Avid Reader, designed a digital curriculum for French learners. His upcoming projects of promote a three-year project on creating a robot which could teach French for all. Virtual reality learning, augmented reality classroom, boarding language. Maybe it is a viral pandemic or an asteroid strike or perhaps nuclear war. Whatever the cause, it will be ending soon and we must start again. Now, Sarah is going to discuss what key knowledge would you need to start rebuilding civilization from scratch. I ensure the seminar will be pr profitable and the next few hours will be enjoyable and fruitful for every one of you. I kindly request the participants to mute their mic and be in a noise-free Zoom. Now, I would like our resource person to take over the session. Please, sir. Uh, merci, mademoiselle. Bonjour, tout le monde. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, Madame, Madame Gavli, est-ce que vous êtes là? Uh, est-ce que je commence? Oui. Uh, je oui, commence. D'accord, d'accord. C'est bien. Um, Vous voulez que je vous voulez que j'active ma caméra ou comment ou la présentation ça suffit? Non, monsieur. Ok. D'accord. Ok. Um, I guess we are good to go. Please let me know if you are able to see my screen because I'm not able to see you right now. Uh, you are able to see my screen? Like uh, somebody can respond? Yes, sir. Yes. We are okay. Able to see. So. Um, Please take notes because I'm going to share something uh, which would directly help you because I'm not going to talk about a lot of uh, theoretical stuff. I'm not going to. I, let me take this very practical. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, if you don't uh, understand or if you don't feel something is, you know, something um, clear for you, you can always uh, stop and ask me. So please uh, uh, take notes. I encourage you to take notes because if this is going to be a, a, a sort of activity that we are going to have right now. So the today's session is about how to rebuild yourself from scratch. So when I say like, you know, yourself, like, uh, and also it is about rebuilding because um, the person was introducing, uh, saying about the pandemic and uh, the situations that we are going through. Uh, and one more check, like, you know, uh, am I audible to you all? Yes, you are audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Merci, merci, madam. Uh, thank you, uh, guys. So it is about rebuilding ourselves. So let's see, like, what is rebuilding? Because you know, nobody is uh, a baby here. Everybody is about like maybe fifteen because you're all in college. So uh, at least sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, I don't know how uh, old you are, but you know, I'm just I'm just saying like you are already are aware of what is what the world is, and uh, the current situation is entirely different. For in fact, uh, new to all all in the world. Uh, in spite of these. Um, things, how we can really rebuild ourselves, how we can really uh, come out of this mess and uh, rock in this world. So that's what we're going to see. Uh, let me show you the agenda of what I have. Like, you know, in fact, I would like to start uh, uh, with a small disclaimer. So the following content is not suitable for all audiences. It is strictly designed for people with great vision or a sincere soul, which is looking for a direction in his or her personal growth. Also, those who have a burning desire to succeed and searching for a mentor. We are neither promising an easy path nor a shortcut, uh, but a more the most rewarding part path in your life. Come on, let's walk together and leave a legacy. And with love, you know, our team and me and my team is 
uh, you know, uh, wishing you uh, all the best. Because if you follow the simple techniques and the steps that are uh, going to be shared with you, this is going to have a bigger impact in all the areas of your life. It can be your academics, your uh, your uh, personal life, financial life, your relationships, and everything. Everything that you you know you name your health. So let me start with the agenda, uh, and you know the, again the name is like you know it's rebuilding yourself from scratch because I'm assuming that uh, we've already uh, you know uh, uh, you have built something, and due to this uh, current scenario or situation. You are, uh, you know, you, you are maybe somebody, someone is devastated. Somebody is uh, going through uh, a lot of hardships. Somebody is going through uh, a lot of financial crisis and somebody is going through, you know, health issues. So how to rebuild, how to bring back the life that you always wanted to live or, you know, the life that you had. So the agenda is about like the 2020 uh, situation. I'm not going to brood over what, what the past is. Uh, so uh, we're going to we're going to see uh, where to start the six pillar strategy analysis of our uh, of your six pillars because we're going to see what it is and let's get the first pillar fixed the one vehicle the speed the begin with the uh, two year v plan i'm going to explain what is what v stands for and the rule of 100 and and you know at the end it's going to be a beginning because it's not about i don't know if if you are here only for your attendance or if you're only here for uh, because you need to get some credits um, then you know you can passively you don't you don't really have to uh, watch the whole thing you can you know you can skip but if you feel that there is something worthwhile in listening to uh, this piece of information this could definitely be a life changer so um, let's you know, and there are six pillars of life that that's how I call but uh, I don't have uh, you know uh, I don't in fact uh, have time to talk about all the six pillars so let's get the first pillar fixed. And uh, please let me know you're able to see the screen because I, I, I have uh, no idea if you're able to see the screen and if it's, uh, you know, if it's visible to you or if you want me to switch over to the uh, uh, meet window, I can go and check. You're able to see it and you're able to hear me. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just uh, checking because uh, since it's uh, um, OK, maybe I, I would like to have it. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can many of them are waiting? Can you let them in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Stuff. No, no. The, the, you know, everybody is, uh, everybody is, you know, coming in. Uh, no, no. Many of our staffs are saying they are not able to join. No, ma'am. Just j why don't you ask them to retry? Because uh, it's not me who's accepting, but uh, my, uh, you know, one of my student is accepting here. Like, you know, she's having an, another uh, device and accepting all. Okay, so um, so if if you know just just with the uh, because I'm just like ping 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 the sound is like not it's gone you know I'm I'm just I'm keep hearing it again and again so uh, uh, but if I mute it I won't be able to listen from you if you have a question okay let me go with you know let me start because I uh, uh, ma'am you're gonna let uh, let in people you know uh, continuously or how how is it. No, we can allow like another for another fifteen minutes. Many of them are able to join, and in between they are left to due to okay. some reason. Okay, okay. But they are not able to rejoin again. Okay, no problem. Okay, d'accord. Uh, madame, je répète, est-ce que vous ma vidéo ou comment ça, ça, ça son vidéo si ça va, je sais pas. C'est votre choix. Vous devez décider. Avec vidéo, c'est mieux. Okay. In fact, uh, okay. Uh, I was checking with ma'am if I should, I know, activate the video. Uh, the, I, the only hesitation that I was having because the photo that you had for uh, promoting this event and the way you're going to see me right now is going to be totally different. So that's why I was just a little hesitant, but I'm not worried about it. But I don't know that's, if you That's not support. a problem. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, maybe even ma'am wouldn't be recognizing me like this. People would, not, would have never seen me like this. So, uh, guys. Uh, once again, a uh, very uh, warm welcome to you all. I'm just trying to see like everybody in this place. How do I do that? And excuse uh, me, I know you think if it is bilingual also, it's okay. Uh, okay, madam. If you want to speak in Tamil too? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, um, guys, if you, want, if you don't understand something, um, uh, you can ask me. If you want to speak in Tamil, I can't. So everyone doesn't know French. 
So that is all savings. No, no, no. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to do this international. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, guys, I please let me know if you don't uh, understand what I'm saying. I'm going to speak in very, very simple English. I'm not going to use rocket science. I'm not all the words you would have already heard. You know, if you are, uh, if you have, if you have studied English as one subject, that's more than enough. Because I'm not, I'm definitely not going to use rocket science to explain what we are going to see today. So if you just, you know, uh, understand the gist of it, the global part of it, you know, it's good to, you know, it's it's good. So please, if you don't understand, I would, you know, I would, uh, uh, I would definitely, you know, want you to ask a question about that. And you can activate your camera. Uh, you're not, maybe not your mic. Uh, when you want to ask a question, you can always activate your uh, mic. But you know, I always prefer people uh, having their camera on because I feel like I don't want to speak to a you know I don't want to speak to a machine uh, because you know I, all I see is just M S and then some photos and then one football there. So uh, you know somebody's you know wearing a hat. So I don't want to speak to these pictures and uh, this this you know this uh, screen in front of me. I want to speak to people. Okay, so with that being said, this is the agenda. Let me start right away. Um, okay, the 2020 situation, like, you know, I'm not going to talk about, like, you know, uh, what happened since March and what is, uh, you know, what uh, today's uh, uh, scenario. Everybody knows. Everyone knows, and it's a tough, tough time for all of us, you, me, and for everybody. It's a tough time. But see, if you're going to follow this content, please don't show hurt. Uh, you know what's the meaning of don't show hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. I, you know, it's it's paining. I got hurt and it's paining, but I don't want you to show hurt. Yeah, and you, you don't have to pretend that you, uh, you know, you, you are all right, but don't exaggerate your pain. That's what I'm saying. You you get that? So at least some S or some, you know, uh, you know, some V or some something, you know, and an acknowledgement acknowledgement from your end. So just don't show hurt. That don't keep saying that you know I'm hurt. You know I'm I'm you know my father has lost the job and I don't have any uh, anything left. I don't have money to pay my uh, college fees. I don't have money to pay my uh, house rent. And yeah, everybody has this problem. Everybody has this problem. So if if the whole world is going to say that you know I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, it's really going to you know create more hurt in the future. Don't show hurt. Even I'm hurt. Everybody's hurt. But but we are tougher than that. That's what we're going to uh, see. Let's start from here and now. What I mean is right here, right now. Uh, so what I say is like, let's create a better future together. You know, a promising future by working. You know, now let's start right now. Well, how we'll see now the present moment. So uh, where to start? You know, the answer is in the where itself. Because you know where you should be starting. You know, the answer you can see it is it is here. And the starting itself is is what I call the word is like you know, it's, it's an art art of living so does anybody have an idea like where you would like to start you know if you really want to rebuild yourself where should you start does anybody know the answer like you know would you like to answer you don't want to answer <laughs> hmm okay so what you know when i say rebuild yourself know how to rebuild yourself from scratch is like you have to start with yourself first so for that you need to know who you are you know you know what is the meaning of know thyself does anybody know what is know thyself any idea hello guys are you home i know everybody's home but uh, are you there okay so what is know thyself know thyself is know yourself which is you know, knowing who you are, what your potentials are, what your uh, capabilities are. Or if, if these words sound really new to you, okay. Now, keep your uh, notebook and pen ready because I'm going to give you a lot of activities. And then you have to discuss with me. I, I want at least, you know, few to uh, interact with me and talk about, you know, what these things would do uh, to you. Where to start? Like, you know, you need to know yourself first. Like, you know, you need to look at yourself. Like, look at, look at, uh, you know, look at yourself, maybe like, you know, the physical body that you have and just find out uh, who you are, but how you're going to find out. For me, I have devised, uh, uh, I have devised, uh, you know, different sections of my life and I call them as 
the six pillars of life does anybody have any idea like what what these six pillars that i am you know i'm referring to you know what is a pillar yeah uh, uh, at last somebody is answering please please i would like to you know listen to you yeah somebody was saying something sunil please i said i have no i i didn't get that i have no idea sir oh you have no idea about what you know what is pillar no ashok pillar you know what is pillar i know the pillar sir okay you know what pillar is now uh maybe like let me give you some clue you will be able to find out like you know this is a pillar you know that very well but i am saying like the first pillar is for me it is financial pillar you know what is financial pillar no you know having enough money to live and that's one pillar that's not the whole thing that is going to uh, keep your keep the building strong but that's one part of the one you know that's one part of the building that's one important pillar financial pillar now you get it sunil and others yes sir okay good now tell me what could be the other pillars you know what are the other pillars you know uh, what is the second pillar b what, what what is the possibility sir education education okay education for me i'm uh, frankly telling you education is not part of my pillar the pillars that i have for six six pillars of life i don't have education in it but i have uh, in a you know using a different term because for me like you know i don't use the word education so okay maybe i agree uh, because i appreciate uh, your answer is it was it uh, still sunil who answered or uh, somebody else is present surya hmm. okay surya okay surya answered okay thank you surya you are you are very young here okay. um on your young photo sir i i should change my okay great let's come back here the second pillar is relationship and the third pillar what could be the third pillar say something family maybe i am sorry family family i i am bringing all the family into relationship so once i say like uh, relationship you have family relationship you have friendship you have your uh, romantic relationship you have your uh, professional relationships all i am bringing under one pillar that is relationship for me the moment you interact with a, another human being you are relating with that person so uh, family everything is with the second pillar what could be the second pillar uh, i don't know surya or sunil somebody said education i don't know who said education it is related surya, to sir surya i say i am the person who said education sir surya yeah. no okay okay so surya like uh, uh, education so is there any other word that you would like to use i'm saying like you know i'll give you the answer because the time is very very short i know so i'd like to go through fast because i have a lot of uh, uh, things and i will be discussing something very important uh, activity you would definitely enjoy so so the third pillar is for me mental pillar uh, mental uh, mental pillar is you can call that education because it's about like how you build yourself you know mentally and uh, if you're really strong if somebody's going to say something about you uh, somebody says that uh, you know you you you're very fat you are dark you are uh, you know you don't look nice you you are bad you get hurt and you are not mentally tough so you know if somebody appreciates you and if somebody flatters you and you see you feel like you know very happy and you forget and uh, you know you you trust that person and even then you are weak mentally weak so what could be the fourth pillar see i talk i spoke about money relationship with family friends romance everything mental pillar are you really mentally strong do you know everything uh, uh, and all the general knowledge and uh, technical knowledge everything i'm putting under uh, mental uh, pillar what could be the what could be the fourth pillar might be fitness fitness okay i will give you you know i'll give you full credit because it's physical pillar physical pillar or you know how you are physically if you are okay if you are you know if you are good if you are very strong if you are able to you know uh, do what you really want to do uh, with this vehicle called body if you are able to you know drive your life okay well, fantastic who was that at least i'd like to remember the name it's me sir bachcha tiwari hey i i cannot okay bachcha tiwari okay okay mr tiwari thank you so much uh the fifth pillar what could be the fifth pillar 
this is where i'm going to place your surya's education here whereas when i said mental pillar is education that is educating but what is your profession your work you, you, okay yeah work what i call professional pillar so for you you are a student that's your profession and if you are really doing good in what you have to do and you know i am an entrepreneur so being an entrepreneur if i'm doing my job well the problem with many people is they they confuse financial pillar with professional pillar and that is the one big reason for the current crisis if the whole humanity is suffering if the if the mass is suffering because everybody has associated the professional pillar with financial pillar which means you work you get money you work you get money you work you get money and that's the only way you know how to get money when the profession is not there when you are not able to work then there is no money no financial pillar because you see one and you see them you know as same for me it is two different pillars for me financial pillar is entirely different for me professional pillar is entirely different if i am a professor i teach french or if i you know i as an entrepreneur i work you know i get money i don't get money you know i am not worried about my finance i'm i'm you know i'm concerned about my business i i i focus here but you know if there is something wrong i fix here if something is wrong i fix there but for me they are poles apart they are not one and the same they are complementary to each other they help each other but they are not the same you get that the final pillar is there any way like you can find out the what the final pillar because i spoke about money i spoke about uh, you know relationship i spoke about mental thing i spoke about uh, physical fitness and profession what could be the one pillar that is left something with social experience experience responsibility i'm sorry responsibilities responsibilities responsibility is not a pillar for me like responsibility i'm not going into characters i'm not going into your traits simply put they are pillars you be a good person or a bad person you will still be successful i'm not talking about whether a person is responsible or so it doesn't it doesn't do with the behavior character ethics nothing a pillar a real factor finance is a real thing relationship is a real thing you you have good lot of friends not facebook friends not instagram followers a real friends when you have a problem if somebody is going to come and help you then you know your relationship pillar is pillar is at uh, you know at, at good, you know is is in a good shape okay then mental and uh, no i was telling you finally when you when the whole world is crying whom are they going to ask don't say the government because the government is also crying i call this the hn factor you can name it the way you want it when what i call is like here and no factor here and no factor for me like living in this moment right now right here which means spiritual pillar you can you can write it as spiritual fill, pillar you can you can be you can be of any religion it has it has nothing to do with religion you 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 know you be from any religion you can you know you can do um Uh, you can you can worship anybody you can that's your choice but this pillar is also very real now when you have all these pillars fine at same level or harmonious uh, strong enough then you have a wonderful uh, you know home that you create for your life so if you don't have you know even if even if one pillar is going down you should definitely pay attention and everything is important if somebody says if one person says money is everything nonsense if somebody says no money is not everything nonsense again because everything is important i cannot say like if somebody says you know no no money is not important only people are important and, and only like you know uh, friends are uh, sufficient for me family is enough oh you have to eat and for that you need to pay and you know you need to exchange service so and if you say i have i have all the money in the world no you know if you just have money you uh, if you don't you know when you are in trouble you need people to help you so everything is important so let me just you know go through the next one it's about like analyzing your pillar okay i i will tell you the formula please take a note and write please write i'm going to analyze you are students but maybe you can try for your father or try for the whole family you don't have to reveal it or you can try personally because i don't know when you were doing your uh, somebody saying something uh, yes sir so yeah. you you told the sixth pillar was spiritual pillar sir am i right the sixth pillar yeah spiritual pillar Sir, what if the person is an atheist? Sir, atheist. 
Uh, okay, see, <laughs> then you are you kind of come under my category because you know people think everybody is think everybody thinks here in my uh, organization everybody thinks that I'm an atheist because I don't believe in God. See, I that's a whole different topic. Whether you are a, an atheist or a theist, gravity is real. There is something that is beyond your control because I'm not able to think through. See, you are an atheist. Please tell me, are you an atheist? Yes, sir. Great. Fantastic. Ask questions because other people think that I'm an atheist because I don't believe in God. I don't have to believe in God because, you know, I believe in science for me. And also, like, you know, when there is a no answer, I'm very skeptic about everything. So you you give a name that you like something which is beyond your comprehension. You call that you call that uh, sixth sense or seventh sense or beyond your comprehension or put a question mark. You find out for yourself. This is not something, you know, this is not a rule. It's not law. You you find out what that pillar is. I call that peace of mind. For me, if you can be 24 hours happy, then this pillar is strong. And if somebody is really spiritual, the person will be happy. If really spiritual, when I say, and if somebody is, you know, somebody who knows who they are, then they can be happy. So uh, forget about you know whether you're an atheist. Theist, it's it's very you know it's I I'm you know I'm not at all bothered about it. And let's analyze financial pillar because I'm concerned about your finance also. The f uh, formula for financial pillar is like your financial score. I need to know your score. Now tell me, put your financial status, which means your pocket money that you have correct, uh, right, right now in your hand, how much, how much money you have in your purse, in your bank account, as gold, as your assets, mobile, immobile, put everything, or now just for an example, and then divide that by your goal, and then multiply that by 100. You should be getting your uh, financial score. So for example, let's say I'm just saying, um, Mr. Tiwari or Surya or Sunil, they have one lakh rupees. Assuming, you know, just an example, they have one lakh rupees, and their target is to reach one crore rupees. Okay, what they currently have is one lakh, but what they would like to have is one crore. Uh, are you following? Yes, sir. I'm following. Now, sir. multiply that by one hundred. What you should be getting is the answer. To, you should be getting is ten. Isn't it? If you do math, if you have a calculator, because I've already done the math, because I'm not going to spend time. If you have doubt, please check with your math teacher. But I know the answer is 10. And for me, it is very poor. It is very dangerous. And your finance is at a very, very critical situation. And you need to give attention. This pillar needs your attention, buddy. So uh, you get that? You can be you can have it one crore or ten. This is your financial goal. It can be ten crores. So just just ask yourself how much you know how much money that uh, you should have had to. If somebody is going through a crisis, how much money that you think that you should have had to go or you know get through this mess or you know get over it. For example, uh, you know I would say like if I have one hundred crores, then I would have been safe. Or ten crores, I would have been safe. Oh, one crore, I would have been safe. And you know, uh, no Corona could affect me. No COVID nineteen and uh, this lockdown, online classes, all these things are not going to affect me. I'm I'm just above all. What is that amount? Tell me that amount and put that here. And you know, you on the top on top of it, you put the your uh, you know your uh, current financial status. Multiply that one hundred, and you get this answer. And you know, I'm just doing it for a you know person X. I'm just saying like you know somebody has got. 10 in financial, uh, 2019 relationship, and mental is 50, and uh, physical is 70, uh, professional is uh, you know 60, and finally uh, HM factor 30. You know this is just an assumption, but I'm not going to give any any details about how you're going to measure this because everything can be measured, and in fact you can give scores for it. So when it comes to financial, if it is only 10, yeah, that's that's really that's very bad. In that case. Uh, you are in a deep, deep, deep problem because uh, this is ten. Because in, imagine you have you already have you know uh, you you have ten lakh rupees in your uh, in your bank account. You wouldn't have you know I don't think that you would have worried about corona if you are a if you are from a middle class family because for a middle class power person ten ten crore uh, uh, bank account would be a big, big, big money uh, and it wouldn't really help uh, uh, an Ambani or a or an entrepreneur, because if it is like ten crore is nothing, so it is relative to their, you know, uh, their goal and relative to your goal. You tell me like how how much you have. Does anybody have a score now? 
anyone has uh, any score? Uh, if this person can stop presenting, I don't know who this person is. Tiago Raju est en train de présenter. Does anybody have a score? See, you can. I, you know, I have also taught in. Uh, I have also taught for college students. I remember when they used to go for, uh, you know, when they used to go for break and when they about to spend any money, I, I take their purse and I, 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 I hold their purse and I ask this question: Tell me how much money you have. And they will tell, I don't know. And I would ask, how much money you want to have? Some, uh, you know, some would say a lot of money. Both are wrong answer. And sometimes they would say, I need one crore rupees. Uh, Ten years ago, they used to say, I need one crore rupees. But tell me how much money you have right now. I don't know. It could be 70 rupees, say 10 rupees, uh, or 50 rupees, or 100, or 500, 1000. If, if you don't know how much you have, you don't know how much to get also. You need to know what you, what you have currently. You tell me, does anybody, you know, uh, did anybody do the math? Do you have any answer? No. Tiwari, did you do, uh, Bacha Tiwari, did you do uh, the math? Uh, Surya, yeah. No idea about it, sir. Okay. Now, okay, you do the math, you, maybe you can let me know maybe later or to, to ma'am, because I'll be happy if you're benefited out of it, because literally i'm getting nothing out of this presentation if you if you get benefited at least i would feel happy that i've spent some time with you and this has benefited your life okay please do the math and uh, if if your score is like this very poor if you if you have if your if your financial score is very very poor then you better pay attention so how are we going to uh, you know build it let's get the financial pillar fixed so how are we going to fix it there are two sides to finance one is what I call uh, the hardcore finance. The other one is like I call softcore finance. So hardcore finance is like you know mutual funds, com commodities, investing in stocks and bonds, and a uh, simple uh, simple one. What the you know what people uh, what, what all people know is uh, fixed deposit. You know FD, no? Everybody knows what FD what uh, FD is. Yes, sir. Fixed, okay. deposit, fixed yeah. deposit you put that money into in your bank and you go sleep 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 you yeah, wake up yes. and you have your interest ah, yes, sir. yeah so you you create you know that's hardcore finance and uh, you know i have some uh, this is what the table that i use uh, in fact like you know the, the first one is like what do you what to do with your income let's say you get uh, do you, you get pocket money no everybody gets pocket money no sir not no. Really. yes sir Okay, let, assuming that you get a pocket money of 500, what I would say, like, you know, the first 60 percentage, you, that's not yours. That cannot be yours for your, you know, you cannot be spending that. Maybe like, you know, uh, if I come back here, I can show you some, uh, some piece of information. Let's say you have 100 rupees as your, uh, uh, your pocket money. Okay. You have 100 rupees as your pocket money. And what I would say, like, you know, start, you know, the first uh, thirty percent you have to invest this. You know, invest conservatively. I don't know if you understand conservative uh, investment, and then uh, you have to invest. Uh, you know, uh, uh, with moderate risk. Like you know, this is a risk level. I don't know if you if you are able to understand. Do you? Hello. Okay, so this is hardcore finance. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I may even skip because if you're not answering, I would definitely skip because this is something which needs uh, a lot more time than uh, this R. So I'm going to talk about the most of the softcore finance. Softcore finance is you get money. Okay, you work hard, you work hard, you work hard, you get money. That's softcore finance. The hardcore finance is what you do with the current money that you have. I don't know. See, if your parents are poor they are very very poor you know their their uh, hardcore finance knowledge is very less if your parents earn a lot of money but they still you're still poor or when they when they lose their job and if you 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 have struggle they have uh, you know they have a, a very uh, bad uh, or i know i wouldn't say bad but i their fin their uh, their education level in hardcore finance is very less you have to learn both and if somebody's, I know a lot of auditors, a lot of uh, you know chartered accountants, they are very good in hardcore finance, 
but they are not really good in earning a lot of money. For example, a Mahendra Singh Dhoni or a, or a superstar Rajni or uh, or uh, uh, any other actor. I don't know. I am not. Uh, maybe like uh, there's a Bachchan here. I'm in the Bachchan. So um, you know they are good in softcore uh, finance. Softcore finance is you get money. You get you get by working. But after getting it, you don't know, but you need to give it to the hardcore person who knows how to handle that money and he will multiply it for you. And in times of crisis, that would help you. If it doesn't make sense, let me just move on because I'm going to talk about the. Uh, sir, can I talk? Uh, I'm sorry. Sir, can I talk? Yeah, yeah, please tell me. Sir, uh, by hardcore finance, are you talking about investments, sir? Investments and uh, deposits? Absolutely, yes. When I say, like, you know, investing in stock market, investing in uh, commodity market and mutual funds, uh, even a simple fixed deposit is, a, is also a hardcore finance where you multiply your money. Okay. This is These are the terms that I use. Uh, so, this is, in fact, my term or whatever that I'm, you know, whatever that I've coined here so far. It's all like, you no, know, this is how I created my financial world. So you get that, Surya? Yes, sir. But okay. uh, sir, but investments could uh, uh, could turn bad in, uh, according to the market environment, sir. Uh, see, market can be in uh, Surya. Now I'm telling you, uh, market is going down. Okay, market has been continuously going down. Okay, sir. Not now. Maybe I don't know if you're watching stock market because I'm in the market for more than ten years. So uh, market is going down. You think an Ambani is worried about it or uh, a, a Ratan Tata is worried about it? Or, uh, you know, let's say you, you buy, uh, you know, do you buy gold? Surya? Sir, I'm a college student, sir. I don't buy gold, sir. Okay, you're a college student, you don't buy gold. Okay. Uh, Surya, like, uh, okay, because since you're all not my students, uh, you, you, the way how I, you know, I'm just trying to relate to you all as my students, because if you ask my students, I teach about finance, even when they are very, very small, even when, this, when I used to teach for six standard students, I still, you know, talk about savings and they are prosperous. You know, you can still be financially free and independent, even when you're in college. That's what I claim. Okay. Leave that, but get to know this. If even this is a theory to you right now, but you know, this could definitely change. Learn soft core now because in the whole world is focusing only on soft core because making you a, a very powerful employee, go to a company, you work, 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 and you get money and you pay EMI, you, you pay bills. But don't don't get into that EMI stuff. Please invest yourself. The moment you get your money, invest in hardcore finance, but don't do it without a professional help because I'm going to talk about that as well. Okay. Uh, if this these two sides of finance is not clear, let me just put it very clearly. This is a lot of this requires a lot of knowledge this requires a lot of skill skill is you work you produce money knowledge you know something you invest in you multiply money these are the two terms you know the hardcore finance and software finance. i move on because you know uh, let me just tell you like you have to define your goal first let's say see you're in college i don't know you you, you still think that uh, you know uh, um uh, money is not something uh, whether you want it or you don't want it when you come out of college you will you will know the importance i don't know if you still if you're aware of it and uh, maybe teachers who are watching this maybe you can uh, you can in fact uh, even teachers can be benefited out of it so first define your goal precisely in you know in this case what i mean is 1 crore 10 crores 1 uh, 100 crores these are all like you know I, I use this presentation because i speak to people who talk about you know things in crores Maybe you can have it as 10,000 rupees or 20,000 rupees or 30,000 rupees or 5,000 or 1,000. Define your goal the way you want it. If you apply the same thing for any, you know, any other uh, factor of your life, it, you know, you will, you will still get better results. First, define your goal, because if you say I, I've asked many people, then when, you know, when they say, like, what do you want? I need money. How much money you want? A lot. What is a lot? I don't know what lot is because a lot for you is a penny for me. Uh, uh, what is uh, you know what is lot for me is penny for Bill Gates. So so it, it is relative. We cannot. You have to tell. You have to tell exactly how much you want. It can be uh, five thousand rupees, ten thousand rupees, fifteen thousand rupees. How much money you want to make every month? Then you can. You don't have to worry about your uh, you know uh, your uh, financial commitments. Or you may have something. I you know. I, I wouldn't. Uh, maybe you want to buy your uh, Xbox uh, three hundred and sixty. Or you want to buy your Xbox uh, One S, or you want to buy the latest PS5 because you know uh, 
I, you know, that's in my bucket list. That's something which I really want to have. The next step is, you know, this guy who's, you know, he's my favorite. So define your vehicle. When I say one, define your one vehicle is how are you going to achieve it? See, this guy, uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, he, what does he do, you know? You know what does he do? You know what does he do? See, he plays cricket, sir. He plays cricket. For me, I am a layman. You uh, okay? You want me to say something in Tamil because I'm, you know that's my mother tongue. I know I will definitely feel really. The lot of uh, ag, you know people who are doing agriculture, they are giving, they are producing food. They are not earning that much money. What he does is he's my favorite. You know, when I say something, you know, if I I'm not against Dhoni because I, he's you know I I ha admire him a lot. There is a there is a small ball. Somebody is throwing. He is hitting it. That's all. Uh, so there suddenly is your voice is not audible. Uh, okay, mm, madam, uh, how about now? No. No, you, it's still not audible. Uh, because I didn't do anything here. Ah, est-ce que je peux avoir mes AirPods s'il vous plaît? Peut-être si je je me connecte, ça pourrait marcher. Si. Yeah, uh, how about now, ma'am? If you, if it's okay, if uh, if it doesn't, uh, uh, I, I'll try to use my AirPods. Uh, how about now? You're able to hear. Show me now. Better? Is it is it better now? No, because I I'm able to hear some. Uh, guys, are you able to hear? I'm hearing some delayed voice. Neil, you're able. To... Delayed. Oh, it is delayed. Okay. Now, uh, is it better now? It's still okay. the same, sir. It's still the same. Okay, Madam Gauri, is it still the same? Madam, could you know? Why, why don't you tell me? Like, uh, Odi, okay, so okay, okay. so uh, maybe the problem could also, you know, from you know, it could be even from your end. Please, why don't you find out from your end as well? Because uh, everything seems to be fine uh, from my end. Because like now, uh, um, you know, I'm I'm having a mic as well, so I don't think that. You... Rejoin the meeting. I'm able to hear you properly. Yeah. Okay, great, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, okay, let me let me move on. See, number one, define your goal. See, if you think that money is not your goal, keep it as your uh, you know your uh, college degree or something else. But define that goal and choose one vehicle. How you're going to do? See, what Mahindra Singh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni has decided to do is there is a there is a ball. Somebody is going to throw at me, and I'm going to hit it very hard, and I'm going to hit it the way how no one has ever hit before. Maybe that hel helicopter shot. You know what I say? Like uh, many people uh, learn French here. You know what I say? People that what I do for a living, I say I conjugate verbs. I say that I know there are verbs that are written on the board. I conjugate them. For example, if the word is uh, if the verb is parler, I just say je parle, tu parles, il parle, elle parle. This is what I do. A very simple thing, very simple activity. This is what I do for my life. My life, but I have a very very, you know, a beautiful life for me. Do you get that? Okay, so uh, once you're done with uh, you know what clearly, then you have to know how you're going to do it. Like, which is like, what is your see? Uh, what is your way? It can be like uh, for Bill Gates, it is programming. For uh, Zuckerberg, it is programming. For Elon Musk, it is about uh, you know vision. For uh, for Steve Jobs, it's about vision. Or for an Ambani, it's about acquisition and multiplying uh, uh, you know businesses. For Ratan Tata, philanthropy, or you know, not philanthropy. Maybe that's not his uh, profession, but uh, uh, he's also a philanthropist. Then you know, you you have a lot of people who you know who have chosen one path, and that's what I'm asking. Then finally, like define your time frame. How long you know you want to achieve that in one one month? Ridiculous. If you want to have a, have a you know big goal in your life, you know you cannot set a very small time frame uh, and a plan of action. And I'm very sure at least we you should know what you want. You don't need a help for that. And how you're going to do it is. You're going to become a doctor or a scientist, engineer, or or a mechanic, 
or a teacher like me or uh, you know maybe you can you can be a you know a street sweeper no problem no harm in it but you can be the richest man in the you know a richest uh, street sweeper in the whole world but you can you can still do it those things you decide after that you decide on the time frame and you take care of the uh, you know you, you decide on the time frame and the action plan but with the help of a mentor because this part is going to be really really tough tricky for you because you you're not going to do that uh, by uh, you know yourself you're going to make a lot of mistakes you're going to have a lot of failure for that you need to have the right mentor like you know i had a lot of great mentors in my life so you know really things worked out well because uh, i had better guidance for me so these people like who whoever you are seeing on the screen they have chosen their the one vehicle what i call the my my term is like the one vehicle for me it is french if you ask me to do something else in life maybe for fun i would try but if it's what am i the best in the whole world i claim to the world whole world i am the best french teacher in the world now uh, there is madam gauri also like you know, i am one of the best french teacher is in the world that's how i claim because i will i will never you know give up on that and that's how i created my identity uh, whether it is you know losing my identity in the sixth pillar that's that's a whole different story but wh what i'm trying to say is i have found my one vehicle you have to find out your vehicle like sundar pichai he's not an entrepreneur but he's an intrapreneur does anybody know what intrapreneur is no sir oh uh, you know what is entrepreneur tell no sir yes sir you know what is entrepreneur entrepreneur for example uh, jack ma is an entrepreneur steve jobs is an entrepreneur they they create an organization they are founders and they are also you know they work in the uh, uh, company they it, the, it's a french word entrepreneur is like taking charge of something but sundar pichai is not an entrepreneur but is an intrapreneur i have an entrepreneur in my organization who didn't uh, you know who didn't start the company but the person who would work as if the com the company is hers sundar pichai works as if it is google is his company and if you have that dedication towards your work you will definitely become you know a phenomenal person in the world that's what many 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 people have you know done that you know you you can you can uh, call you know satya nadella or you know you 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 know just go go and read about all those people who have done you know great things and it's not that you have to be an entrepreneur or entrepreneur you can still be an exceptional uh, person in your own field like oprah winfrey or uh, michael jordan you know um, and even albert einstein so define your one vehicle you have to know what you want take some time it may take even years for me it took for me to find out what i was going to do in life i was 19 years or maybe 21 i don't know like i don't know in 2000 like okay so it took me a lot of you know i i spent a lot of years finding out what i wanted to do in my life and the moment i found then you know it was all you know great so you know let me just wind up with you know giving the one vehicle find out what your one vehicle is and then how you're going to make uh, make use of it it's about the speed guys it's ab about the speed you know about you know people are willing to pay more for the speed that you are producing for example you need an apple iphone why because it's the fastest phone maybe like you have better fast and you, know, you have competition for apple iphone yes because uh, there are other phones which are equally faster and why you pay you know more for ferrari because it's faster and you want 5g 4g connection is expensive than 3g connection because it is faster and you prefer google over bing why because google is faster you want 2020 cricket not uh, not not any more test match because why because it is it is faster and you need amazon because you have one day delivery you have prime membership and you know you do that and i have added even uh, my organization which is here and now we are known for mastering french in 6 months and the whole world nobody can do that i figured out a way how we could do that and when i presented to the whole world the whole world was skeptic it was even uh, believe but we produced eight batches and you know about like 200 students we you know we uh, we created a history i didn't do any great thing in uh, in life what i did was i just changed the time frame what i did okay it took 3 years for us to you know master a language let me bring that to one year then i brought it to you know 100 days in 108 days you master french you speak like a pro and uh, you know people are willing to pay more i you know my uh, i I'm, i'm telling you very frankly the, my charges are really high it's like apple iphone uh, you know uh, the uh, the class that i run when i have to teach and uh, you know i'm very expensive but the people are willing to pay because i produce 
an exceptional speed with uh, uh, an ex exceptional quality. So how are you going to do it? Like, let's say you are a watchmaker. So there are four types of speed. You need to know like how you're going to, you know, how you please make note of it because this, these things will help you. If not today, I'm telling you maybe five years later, 10 years later, this content may help you if it doesn't if it doesn't uh, make any sense to you right now it may sense it, it may make sense in, in in future so there are four types of speed and this particular uh, concept i'm i cannot take it because it is uh, the these four types of speed was uh, devised by or you know uh, uh, taught to me by my mentor patrick but david from valuetainment he is from the us so he talks about four uh, different uh, speeds it is functional speed uh, processing speed, ex expansion speed, and the timing speed. If you have these four speeds, you can really, really make money doing anything in the world, any business. If you want to become an entrepreneur, or if you want to become a, you know, I've already told you, like, you know, freelancer or a teacher, or you do whatever you want. But if you have these four speeds in your work, then your uh, your uh, your clients will pay you more, or your employee will pay you more. But if you have these four speeds, what is functional speed? Is uh, it's about, you know, if you can create, uh, let's say you are able to, uh, there is an, you know, uh, there's a product that you're creating. Okay. Let's say your product that you're creating, I'm just calling it as product. I don't, I don't have any other, you know, uh, I'm just calling it product. You just, you create a product and how long does it take for you to create let's say uh, you know today you create this product in uh, you know you, for it could be like i have a student who was selling you know he he was just a rugged bracelet he was selling like with the with that rope that para, it's called that some para rope i don't remember that uh madam is the second dj so he created that he was able to uh, you know produce that uh, uh, one in one week one product uh, in one week and then slowly he improved it to uh, uh, two products in one week then later he, he was able to do that seven product in one week which means one day he can produce one product that is your functional speed so how how good are you in creating what you can because how you know uh, it could be like that's that's how 4g worked and that's how like you know you know how ferrari you know uh, you know got into the race uh zero to 60 uh in how many seconds that's the race between all the you know uh, the top end cars bmw audi or ferrari so this is functional speed and how fast you can you can get it to people that is processing speed so when i say uh when i say like uh, what is this okay so how how fast you how you can bring it to uh, you can create the product, but how fast you can bring it to uh, uh, to your client? That is that is processing speed. Uh, for example, the best product is iPhone, and that is delivered through Amazon. You know, uh, one day delivery. That, that is processing the processing uh, speed. Then you have the third one is uh, expansion speed. There are uh, now uh, you have produced seven products, but there are seven hundred people who are waiting to buy your product. Are you able to you know increase the number? If you can, if you figure out a way how, you know, by leveraging, you will be able to, you know, work on that uh, expans expansion speed. And finally, it is the uh, timing speed. So, for example, if you produce mass produce during Corona time, you're not going to sell a lot. So it is always wise that you, you know, you have to know when to produce. So this timing is also very important. So I, I have to respect the time. I have only one minute left. So this is very important even if you don't understand anything about at least this one slide could definitely change your life what do you see there what do you see there anybody home sir we don't see any slides sir <gasps> why sir we, we can only see your video sir my god i i thought oh, you should have reminded me because i've been, i've been doing all the you know uh, since how long that you are you know you are not able to see the slides from which one I never saw the slides sir. it was shown in the minimizer mode like uh, my god like i i was always going through the slides 
so i was i that's why i was continuously checking like which was the last last slide that you saw um was i think this? the rebuild yourself sir seriously yes sir you have never seen any slide no sir not even this no sir this is the first time i'm seeing this sir i was always going through the slide i was thinking that i i, I was just i i was doing a lot of work here i was explaining so if you somebody could have you know reminded me about that no sir we never thought you did this slide sir Uh, you could have uh, at least somebody uh, i was expecting you know at least madam was actually was uh, it actually uh, uh, somebody could see the slides knowing and that you are playing like, because i know I, i don't know you you were seeing my video i'm using a, a, a pencil and i'm i'm is writing so i was trying to show you many things here uh i don't know so it's not like, no nobody is seeing the slides so it's like somebody you know actually i can it, it's you to, saw the slide no Yeah. you know the, the problem was somebody was taking you know i saw someone was like not taking the presentation that shouldn't be happening i was telling them no, not to because i was presenting so if something okay uh, but uh, you saw whatever that i showed till here like all these things somebody said uh, saw and did you see uh, all these things the hardcore finance and the softcore finance did, did you see yes sir yes, it's it's all, it was visible oh it, it was visible no you saw these things yes sir yes sir Okay, then it's fine because if it is, it was not at all visible. Then I, you know, I'm a little worried about that because I took a lot of pain to explain uh, these things. And uh, did you see the these things? Define your uh, goals and uh, the one way. Yeah, the, yes, yes. Did so you see my this thing? Minimizer mode. What is that like minimizer mode? Yeah, you want to say your video was showing another side. Uh, that is your no no. That is your option, madam. The way how you see it. they have the way how you see it is your option by choosing it like you know you just have to modify the uh in french for me it is la mise en page the way how you see it like you can see it as like the whole thing you have to click on projector mode or uh, i thought like you are going through a lot of uh, uh you know seminars i thought you will be knowing all these things uh, i could have maybe given some uh um uh you know some training if you need it because i thought like this is not something new to you uh, maybe like neat is new to you we will meet okay uh, so madam may, maybe did you see all these things at least because you know uh, i don't know if it is if it didn't go through i i know i wouldn't be i feel i would definitely feel disappointed because if you're not able to take what what you really you know what you should have really had uh so if you were not able to see in spite of my presentation it could be like you have pinned your uh, somebody else's page for example if i click on my picture only i will be visible here so if i just unpin here then uh, i'll be able to see all here i can choose uh, whom i want to pin like you know if i can if i pin uh, uh, surya then i'll be able to see surya so it is it's your choice what you see uh and how you see it uh hope you uh, you see my screen at least now let me finish this uh, yes, at least with, now. now you are able to see no yes, okay at least you know let me just uh, tell you one thing it's about the speed how fast you do what you do because that would definitely change what you really um, uh, you know um, give to the world uh, I, I, i if you don't understand ask me if not uh, you know i don't want to take i don't want to take too much of your time as well um the final step is like you know this is this is what i was asking what do you see like you know what from this this is where i asked you what do you see like you know what is uh, the final step is um, what i was telling like take it to your visualization plan how many people have already heard about visualization sir you know what what visualization is yes sir do you know do you know what visualization is sir it's uh, about seeing yourself from uh, two years where you will be sir okay what? that's what i what uh, that's what i have written two the two year visualization plan uh, for me it is not for two year i mean after two years so maybe i have to explain this a little uh, uh, you let me know if you don't understand what visualization is visualization is you are able to pictureize 
you know maybe i i if i'm trying to you know bring myself back and I'm, i'll try to show you where um this is about like you okay let me let me tell you tell you something you close everybody close their eyes and uh, just you know close your eyes i am telling you now you are standing in front of a park you know what a park is no p a r k uh you are standing in front of a park and you are walking inside uh you you see the gate uh you know it's not fully open so you try to push with your hand your left hand and then you are entering the park you are able to see lot of uh, trees did you see what what i was seeing no sir if you no no not Because exactly what not exactly sir because uh, no no not exactly is... when i say exactly uh, it's not uh, same picture but uh, were were you able to see some park some trees yes sir yes sir then, yes, you, sir. then you have visualized if you keep visualizing something you will create that into a reality you 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 will create your life through visualization that's how the whole world the whole universe is created at least that's what our understanding is that's what quantum physics is saying so uh may- many people like you know visualize the desired end result for uh, for two years straight um, you know this is what uh, you should be doing right now i don't know if you are able to understand this when i mean the desired result let's say you want to live life like a celebrity or a simple um, man in a village or you know uh, or a very rich person in the united states or in dalal street in india so you have to you know think that you already there and walk like that person think like that person if you do that you create that reality many teachers many mentors they teach this is using a name called law of Att- law of attraction uh, on youtube and there are a lot of books out there but you know if you try it frankly telling you it is not going to work out because nobody is talking about how hard you have to work everybody says you visualize your new realize you you just think about it you will have it you think positively you have it but thinking positively thinking this uh, you know thinking positively for 10 minutes and then the rest of the 24 hours you you know you think about uh, how the situation how the current situation is you're not going to create the 10 minute re- 10 minute reality you're going to cre- create the rest of the 24 hours reality i don't know if you understood maybe this session is being recorded as well you can go through it if you feel it's going to help you if you keep thinking about what you really want that's what dr abdul kalam said dream dream is not something what you see when you sleep it is something which will never let you sleep that you know you are obsessed about your dream your vision and you think about it all the time 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 and you create that reality F- yeah forget about this you know the corona stuff the lockdown the government is stopping you even the government cannot stop your visualization i'm telling you buddy government can stop you only from working they can stop you only your current reality like they can stop your finances now but they cannot stop your visualization they did not not any government can can uh, can stop an entrepreneur or like uh, jeff bezos or an elon musk or uh, an ambani they can't or they cannot stop a celebrity because their vision their visualization is too big than a government that's what i ask i'm asking even every you know every individual to you know think about they they cannot they cannot uh, you know uh, influence your thinking all they can do is they can just change something in the current reality but if your vision is strong in the inside you will create the life that you want on the outside and this is what uh, i really wanted to say and i have some rule of 100 i don't know if it is going to work out with this group i'm going to tell you like read 100 books per day uh, 100 i'm sorry 100 pages per day 100 hours per week for next 10 years for you to become you know really uh, financially independent Uh, visualize the end result for 100 hours for every 6 months i don't know if this is going to make sense see i told you in the very first slide this is not for all this particular presentation is not for the masses it is only for the concerned it is only for somebody who would like to have a massive result in life because i, I don't teach masses i've never had any chance to teach masses i choose my students i spend a t- i spend a lot of time with that person to improve that person's life 
I don't give my personal time to all. I have a lot of respect for Madam Gauri. That's that's one reason I'm here. That's the that's the only reason I'm here. And also, I'm you know I'm concerned about the younger generation. You don't you I don't think that you everybody will be able to do this. And I I know for sure everybody is not going to get benefit out of it. But if somebody takes this idea, tries to you know uh, find. Out if it's going to work out, if you give it a try, you will amaze yourself. You will have a bigger uh, success. But this is not possible. Take baby steps, and consistency is more important than the perfection. You don't have to be perfect in speaking French, in speaking English, or uh, or uh, uh, earning a lot of money, or uh, taking care of your relationship. You don't have to be perfect, but take baby steps. You know, improving yourself. If you cannot read hundred pages per day. Read one page. If you cannot read one page, read half a page. If you cannot read half a page, read one paragraph. Instead of reading a lot of text messages on WhatsApp, read half a paragraph, or one paragraph per day. Increase it to two paragraphs if it's possible. If not, stay with that one paragraph for one more, one more week. Slowly take baby steps. It's you know just it's called micro actions. If you if you take those micro actions, you know it, it, they call it uh, you know. Um, a drop of water makes an ocean that's how you know you you create your life uh with that being said you know i'll uh, uh, in this uh session uh saying i i i know i share this with you you can in fact read it for yourself i read it once this is we call here on the oath a uh, a poem written by christian d larson i read this and i i end this end my presentation i promise myself to be so strong that nothing can disturb my peace of mind to talk health happiness and prosperity to every person i meet to make all my friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them to look at the sunny side of everything and make my optimism come true to think only of the best to work only for the best and to expect only the best to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as i am about my own to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future to wear a cheerful expression at all times and give a smile to every living creature i meet to give so much time to improving myself that i have no time to criticize others to be too large for worry too noble for anger too strong for fear and too happy to permit the presence of trouble to think well of myself and to proclaim this fact to the world that not in loud words but in great deeds to live in this faith that the whole world is on my side so long as i'm true to the best that is in me next book thank you so much uh, you can find me on uh, you know um, uh, facebook or uh, twitter i'm not on instagram so um, you know if you if you could if you have any doubt you can just uh, using my twitter handle like rudran ragwan you can ask me a question i would be happy to you know answer merci beaucoup thank you all madam je termine thank you mr uh, is there any doubts any questions has to be asked any questions from participants uh sir uh, i'm one of the participants uh, it was a very nice session sir i was able to attend only for the past uh, ha last half an hour but uh, it was uh, worthwhile like uh, a really uh, nice uh, presentation and uh, the way you spoke it was really inspiring thank you sir thank you so much uh, i don't know who it was uh, um uh, i'm i'm also oh yeah udayanka balakrishnan Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You're you're a student or, or you're? No, I work. Yeah, I was a, working at uh, TTS last until uh, December. Now I'm okay. actually planning to do my masters. Okay, okay, great. That's great. Okay, ma'am. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Who's ever the kids? Participants, any other queries? Okay. Thank you, Mr. for sharing your time in the crazy study. And uh, now we'll pass up the end of the session. The oath of thanks. It's over to Mr. Diwari. Ah. Thank you, ma'am. Once a great man whispered, "Feeling thankfulness and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it." Today, I take the opportunity to put all my gratitude into words. We thank our management and principal staff 
for providing us an excellent support and significant platform during this lockdown. I extend a very heartfelt thanks to Mr. Rudran Raghavan, CEO, here and now group of companies for raising his presence and sharing his valuable time by giving us an excellent motivational speech. We thank staff, students, and participants, the board staff, and other monitors for their patience in visiting and working for the queries. We thank everyone awesome for you for their immense support. Thank you all. Jaburi Nasir, Mr. Rudran. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Madame. Merci. Merci. Alors, Merci. Je, je, alors, c'est terminé. Je peux, je peux, je peux arrêter. Bon, merci. 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 Yes, uh, I want to say something, sir. From my part of view, it's really an excellent uh, webinar I have seen. Thank you so much for presenting us, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bacha. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Merci, wonderful session, sir. Thank you, thank you. Very inspirational presentation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. Merci, merci beaucoup. Uh, je vous laisse. You can, you know, you can still, you know, anyway, you can contact me. I've given you my uh, social media handles so merci au revoir au revoir uh, mr tuvari thank you thank you so much thank you thank you sir au revoir